Asian carp present a direct threat to both the economy and the ecology of the Great Lakes region. By filtering out plankton at the base of the food web, they threaten the source of food for native species in the Great Lakes. They also potentially threaten the drinking water for 40 million people, as well as the over $16 billion in recreational boating and fishing economies that are vital to our economy here in the Great Lakes region. NRDC has been working to organize stakeholders in Chicago to help them realize that a permanent solution to the Asian carp threat, hydrological separation, which would permanently prevent Asian carp from entering the Great Lakes, could actually have great economic benefits for Chicago by encouraging long overdue and much needed upgrades in sewage infrastructure and the transportation network. When NRDC first opened a Midwest office, we realized that protecting the Great Lakes had to be the centerpiece of any program that would address the threats and challenges facing the Midwest region. Ballast water brings invasive species to the Great Lakes, which has had, for decades, profound economic and ecological effects on the region. The poster child for ballast water has probably been the zebra mussel, which now causes over $200 million of damage annually in the Great Lakes region. Zebra mussel was first brought here in the ballast tanks of ocean-going vessels that essentially dump them here after bringing them over from Eastern Europe. Ever since they've become established in the Great Lakes, they've used the Chicago waterway system to migrate to other freshwater ecosystems all throughout the United States. Zebra mussels are now seen as far southwest as Arizona and New Mexico and are clogging power intake pipes in places like Lake Mead. This is a serious problem and one that we have engaged on in a number of levels, including supporting stronger federal standards through litigation and, and legislative lobbying, as well as defending states that have implemented their own strict balanced water standards. NRDC thinks that protecting the Great Lakes is critical to preserving the quality of life in our region, and we think now is the time to act to make sure that this, this expensive problem doesn't get worse.